everyone, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. Last episode, we finished up Grid Map, just doing the missions. Finished on the Sky Curve, really bad at the Sky Curves, and even if I do good for the first two laps, I always crash on the. I don't know why, so I'm skipping them for now. So we are here on Hirochi Raceway. I am starting off with 200 BX because. I love driving this thing around this track, and yeah, I don't have much to say about it. Working on, oops, been t uh, tuning this car for some time. And it's probably one of my best tune, one of my only cars that I can actually push, go a pushing. So let's see how it does in some actual races. And if you want any of the cars you see me use in no, in the description will be a link to my or all my configurations. I just recently updated it to every car I use, and it's updated to the current tunes that I use. Alright, so two laps and three other cars. I'm on lowest graphics, so hopefully. And do the best I can. Okay, here we are. So again, forgot to the last moment to pick the replay folder, but either way, it doesn't like using um, replays, AI races, but I'm gonna try. So, Alt F2. And sacrifice a little time off the line to get line up. car sounds incredible in my opinion. Fourth gear, which is the gear it's most happy in. I'll work my way around them. Might want to wait till a better point to pass. It's a wonderful boost noise. How do you hear that turbo? Even if you do mess up, it's not that hard to recover. But in hood view, I drive to listen to the turbo, not to not crash. Uh, too fast for this corner. I am going to restart this one and try to focus a little bit more. I'm not going to switch to the hood view. I'm going to try and catch up and win. So I'm probably not going to talk too much, but here we go. There we go. As long as they don't run into me, I should be ass on the corner. Uh, so much for not hitting me. Well, they took themselves out on that one. Come on, get out of the way. I have to honk at you? The race cars in this, once you fully with race parts, especially the gearbox, the uh, thing that 
buzzing that whining noise. They just sound like monsters. Full-blown race cars are insane. I love being able to see the shifter move now too. It really helps with no interior and like I'm in fourth right now, just looking down really. Not to fly into this corner this time. Definitely downshift here. I might just sit behind them till the last corner and then fly past them around straight. We'll see. If I get an opportunity to pass, I will. One thing that I liked about the game Juice 2, an older PS2 360 game era, so at 6th, 7th gen, but they had a thing where if you sat behind an opponent, it'd scare them, and they would mess up. And we're in first. Oops. I wanted to slide, not reset, but... Either way, that is it for the first AI race. Nice simple course. I love that track. I usually take the longer route, but I like that route too. So, as you can see, I really like this car, so now let's do medium course. Which is probably, instead of turning right at the... Uh, for the second corner, we're probably going to turn left, take the long straightaway. And I'm also going to try and activate my nitrous, I think. I'm not sure. I might just keep it on the button. I have my B mapped to nitrous, but my B properly, so. <clears throat> Either way, hopefully this goes well. Probably pass these two here. Get out of from behind that Legrand because I mess up all the time. Ah! Uh, as it re ends me, of course. I wish they had. They need a program in something so the AI doesn't just blatantly rear end you. I can't even see the condition of the back of my car now, but it feels okay. So I'm just gonna keep. on the corners I tend to spin out. Usually do this corner between 70 and 100 depending on my entry. That one seemed to be. Curve a little bit here. much speed here as I can. Try not to over rev as I shift down. Got what, half a lap to catch up? Not much distance.
Hopefully I can catch up on the by the last straight and pass by the fin. I blame the Legrand kind of going off the track at the start. Ooh, oversteer. On their behalf. Allows me to... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, oh, man. I hammered the throttle just a little too hard. Second still, not too bad. But, that's that for the second one. I'll take second for now. Oh. That could have gone better, but it also could have gone worse. Replays are going to be a bit confusing, but, well, long course. So now, so now we're doing the full track. This should be fun. Still just two laps, still probably the same cars. But we'll see. I'm still way in the back, and yep, it looks like the same cars. I love this route, so let's see how it goes. Get rid of my... there we go. Every now and then when I switch to cockpit view or if it loads into cockpit view every time the Legrand goes off there. But either way, and now and then it doesn't get rid of the Y elements that it's a I try not get rear-ended here this time. But I'm also gonna go off the track in the process. Great! And I popped my tire. Ooh, the Legrand went off too. Oh well, since I popped my tire, I'm going to try. Go again. Wonderful race car noises. This would be like with more cars. I wonder how many cars my computer can handle. I know it can handle upwards of 10 at once, but it's almost unplayable at that point. I love the speed along here. I've matched and not unsettled the car. Still got another lap to catch up, I should be able to, I can't see, especially if I did on the short one. I'm gonna be as smooth as I can be, that's my biggest issue, not being smooth enough. Unsettles the car and I either understeer, oversteer, just blatantly hit a wall, whatever. But we are caught up to the lead car, so I just have to wait till the right moment. Ask them. The cars are more than 200. Okay. It's good. Oops. Did not mean to hit them. Why do they have my license plate?
dying to hear that car when I shift, but... Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, how I love this car. And into the dirt. Come on, catch it, catch it, go, 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 go! Yay! No one! Oh, I can't wait to see that in the replay. That was so close. That could have ended so bad. Front to fourth. Nitrous. Cross the line. And I will be right back. Uh, okay, I am back. I had to run for a second. So, that should have been. I forget already, but I think that's these courses. And now we're on to the pro drift stage. Take on the championship drift stage at Hirochi Raceway. I'm going to use the van the first run, the first two runs, see how they go, because I know I enjoy drift. And then I'll use one of my cars, a two, just to see how it goes. Okay, drift stage. Your goal is to earn as many points as possible. Big angle, close to the walls, alternate, don't crash. Typical stuff. I think we've done drift stages before. Looks like it's most of the course, but I also need to get the recording going, and off we go. Should be interesting. This thing's weird to drive. And I'm not good at long corners. It's not scoring my drifts. Normally I'd be getting the drift score popping up, but not. So I'll complete this run, see what happens, but As I figured, I'm probably going to have to do it again. As it's probably not counting it, I'm just going to try to finish as quickly as I can. It's just so wobbly, it makes it weird. But the weight and, oops, the length really help with angle. That's it. And that's technically the end, but it broke. So that's that with that. Um, since I paused it, the replay will probably just be kind of doing its own thing. I can't even hit I to reset it. What is it doing? Is it going to work this time? Okay, now I've got score and timer. So let's... Okay, now that it's working, I'll do a run with this again. Not gonna worry about the replay because I already forgot. I'm doing really bad on this one. I like drifting this because it's fun, but difficult. They put the readout in such a bad spot, I can't see what. Speaking of seeing, I could also tighten my right, but. The wheel and the right tuning, you could literally just use your throttle and brakes and not even have to worry about the wheel along. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of time though. <clears throat> I probably want to use my. On the ground would probably be decent at this, but it's not that great at the, uh, the longer corners.
Nope. Uh, can I get to the end? Nope, out of time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try using my car. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, my Legrand doesn't quite have the low end. Ooh, what's with the hood? Uh, the low end torque. The ETK would. But the Legrand has a lot of control. Really easy. I'm gonna try the ETK. Um, I know my 200BX won't do well on this drift version, so let's try this thing. There we go. Okay. Let's try this again, but with this thing. I wish you could still get the points with your own vehicles, but as I've said multiple times throughout this, I'm not going for points. I'm just trying to have fun for the I will go back at uh, some other point as I look at the wall. I'll go back at some other point, actually. Ow. Maybe the Legrand would be a better car. But as I said, I tried to say, I will go back at some other point and do what I can for times and scores and so on. This isn't my best drift car by far. <clears throat> it's just probably the best I've done. I have a uh, all-wheel drive FCV also. But I'm thinking of trying on this, but I don't know. I'd like to get to the rock crawling stuff too. Definitely carrying more speed. I have a feeling I'm still going to run out of time though. Yeah, it's not gonna like fun. Uh, don't hit the wall. I don't care if I stop, just don't hit the wall. I can't wait till I can get a wheel and whatnot again. Actually. Drift properly. It's so difficult with the controller. Just don't have the fine control that you need. If I didn't almost hit the wall, I would have made it. But, like I said, I wanted to. some more stuff. Either way, I should get the drift of drifting. I did not mean to say that the way I did, no pun intended, I just realized that. <clears throat> but either way, that's horses, the drift, so now let's do the crawl. I'm just going to quick travel, and I'm hoping it doesn't have... Oh, it does have a proposed view. I don't like the pre-made trucks in this, <clears throat> or the pre-made crawlers, they're not that great. So, I'm going to quickly switch to mine, save time later, and then if I have any issues with the pickup, switch to mine. This thing goes pretty much anywhere I want. Okay. There's two there, okay. Okay, Hirochi Crawl. Welcome. This course is around 10, wow, 10 minutes long, but technical. A bit technical, but not so. Have fun. Crawling is about points, not time. You will start with 100. Following infractions. Touching a prop, reverse, recovery, rolling or damage. And create a new recovery position. Press I, restart. Good luck. This isn't going to take 10 minutes, trust me. Especially if I were to use proper. <clears throat> but, as I said, I don't like using this thing. It just handles so weird. I changed my uh, controls so I can use the lights. 
Sim. But I also forgot to start recording the recording again. Whatever. Either way, I changed my controls so I could use the lights. It's cruising around, so I have to actually click UI app to switch diffs and whatnot. Bit of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> it's not that bad. Things just so front heavy. Any sudden impact on the front, it basically doing a nose dive. Try and keep left side uh, on left side without rolling as long as I can. Smooth throttle. Right side. Uh, a little late for the right side now. Oh, I was trying to even it out on the right side, but too late to go up. That is second obstacle. Don't need lockers along here. Don't need lockers. Some more throttle. Overall, this is a good vanilla vehicle. That, as you can tell, very easily and well gets the job done. It just <clears throat> has little issues. However, having a ton of uh oh uh oh, having a ton of weight over the front. really helps for crawling. This is more front heavy than the hopper is, so up hills like this, it does do better. However, as you can see, there's very little weight over the rear. So it can get a little difficult. Power through this as smooth as can. I'm determined to do this as quickly as I can. It's 10 minutes for this is just nuts. So once again, for my line as smooth. Try not to unload the rear end. <clears throat> Go. Disable the diffs and around to the end. Try not to roll. At the right speed. Same with that one. Definitely not. Huh? Ten minutes. Try 417 with how many points? What? 109? There we go. Much better. I love rock crawling. It's so much fun. I just I can't stand when people just floor it constantly. Blah blah blah. Um. I think I might have some time for the next one. This okay. This is an actual time trial. That one was just you have to finish it. This one you have to do it timed. Sure to make box as long. This one you have to use your own. One lap, let's go. Now you're really gonna see my hopper in use. And maybe some of the little So I want to make a recording and off we go. Taillights, I replay, play. See already way more bottom end torque. Okay, 
Uh, losing my nose. This hopper was a bit bigger before. I had slightly bigger tires, I think 42s. Now it's got eights or something. <clears throat> and then I also lifted the suspension a bit, just in efforts to make it a better overall rock crawler, like actually drivable street to get to each spot. But but it gets hung up now and then. Like, and because of lifting the suspension ever so slightly, center of gravity isn't quite as good, but... It's also got the 4-speed egg gearbox in it. Helps a lot. First gear is nice and low. Perfect for crawling, especially but with the for gate. And as you saw when you need it. Yeah. The hopper is also narrower than pick up. Not too much. It's a lot narrower, so you have to pick slightly different lines, but for the most part... Oh. Down here... Too fast. I wish they would upgrade steering. The normal hopper. Not the off-road version, because you go up to a rock, basically, with the normal version. One, I can't believe I just did that. Wow, I can't believe I'm messing up here. But either way, with the other one, you can literally go up to a rock. I'm going backwards. Now I actually want to go back. But go up to a rock, turn your wheels, and it'll snap the steering. Just like that. So annoying. I'm not doing very good on this actual time trial version. They're probably uh, softened box on this a bit too. But. Oh well. This is another vehicle I've been tuning for <clears throat> quite some time. And this is why I usually have differentials and stuff set to my d-pad because then I can really easily use little tricks that I use. And we're upside down. So I'm going to leave this episode here with an upside down hopper. Um, I will, oops, that's the wrong button, I have two. I will continue off the next episode finishing this. Um, and then, either way, I'll start off the next episode with finishing the crawling. I will remap my buttons again so I can quickly use the little tricks that I use because there's a little thing like this where you lock the front, kind of hold the brakes and the diff, and the parking brakes, sorry. And you can kind of, ever so slightly, use a rear dig, which I wanted to there. There we go, it's working right there. Nice tight turning circle. I wanted to there, but because my mapping, I couldn't. So either way, until next time, as usual, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Thank you.